and mountain bike races here in Summit County, but you've never seen one like this before. Copper Mountain has raised the bar this year with their first annual winter bike race. The course is about 10 miles long, and with this kind of crowd support, the leaders should finish in about an hour and a half. Racers gathered in the Burning Stones Plaza at twilight, an unusual sight at the base of a ski slope in the middle of January. The unique combination of riding on snow in the dark enticed 162 racers from all over the state to try something new. I've never done a nighttime bike race. I've, I've done a lot of daytime bike races, but this is really cool because there's so many different people out here and different types of bikes, and it's kind of like a party atmosphere in a way. I think it's, it's just something different to do in the winter. I mean, I love skiing, backcountry skiing, hiking, all that sort of stuff. But uh, at least in Alaska, we would go snow biking every day, go at night. Uh, you have these lights on the bike, so you riding single track at night through like a foot of snow is, I think, one of the coolest things you can do. So it's a lot of fun. I raced quite a bit in the summer and decided that uh, this could be something fun and interesting and, and a race, but not quite so uh, so much pressure. Racers of all fitness and skill levels are competing in the race, riding anything from a regular mountain bike to a snow bike. However, snow bikes are the envy of most riders because the wider tires prove better for flotation and several models made their way into the competition. Um, well, it's a, it's a really specifically designed bike so it can fit the big fat tires. Um, the frame is a, it's a specifically designed frame. It uses a offset rear triangle to accommodate the, the 4.0 inch tires. Um, so. Uh, we've been making these bikes for a few years now and they're taking off like crazy because all of a sudden people like riding on snow and uh, the big tires make that a whole lot easier than mountain bike tires. Those riding on regular mountain bikes were well aware of the challenge of riding with smaller tires. Yeah, we went around a little bit. It's a little sketchy. Yeah, definitely. You're like, woo, <laughs> on half of it. So, uh, yeah. Snow biking is tough because A, it requires more power. It's like riding through sand. Um, these are groom trails, so it makes it a lot easier, but you have to be careful. If you brake too fast, your back wheel just slides out and you crash, or if it gets a little too deep, the bike kind of just gets squirrely and you just have to let it go and just let it do what it wants. <laughs> Riders took off to the sound of fireworks on the two-lap course, encountering a multitude of obstacles, including snow hills, heated pavers, a stair climb, an ice rink ride, and much more. Ironically, the racers with regular mountain bikes helped level the playing field by creating an additional obstacle. It was uh, surprisingly enjoyable, except for the second lap. Um, There's a lot of people on regular bikes, so they did a lot of running and tore up all the packed down trails. So. We had to run pretty much the whole second lap, so that was kind of a bummer. Jordan Carr won Copper's first annual winter bike race in just under an hour on a borrowed snow bike with several minutes separating him and the second place finisher. I just like riding my bike and uh, living in Colorado. Um, you got to look for interesting ways to enjoy riding your bike all year or travel, so it works out well. 